So in 4.5, you can look over to the sideboard here. Do the quiz, SWBA, students will be able to use ASA, SAS, SSS, AAS, and HL to prove triangles to room, which is 4.5. If you recall on Monday, we used, um, sorry, not on Monday, last Friday, and no, last Wednesday, or Cal Week Deal, we did 4.4, which is using PPTTT. Good sign up here. Who can tell me what PPTTT stood for? Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. We said if all sets of corresponding parts were congruent, and we had to say this is the nickname notes, this is the notebook, this is the packet, this is the section where it says 4.5, and we're going to just um, kind of in the middle of the page. The middle of the page will say. So we said that if we have all three sets of corresponding sides congruent and all three sets of corresponding angles congruent, then we know the triangles are congruent, correct? So now we have four sets. We went the long way first. Maybe you just hate that in math. You mean go the long way and then you get shortcuts, you're like, why did we do that the first way? Behind the <laughs> did it? It went like behind all the way? Yeah. I was wondering why it took so long to come down. Like it went like through here? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to drop it. Does it take some back? Like it should. There's no reason to like, what if there's something back there you could cut off? That goes through the middle then. Because that's where we started. Oh. I didn't know where I was going. I was waiting to like, oh, okay. So anyway. So our first shortcut is going to be ASA, which as you can see stands for angle side angle. So we have this ASA triangle congruence theorem, which tells us if two angles in the included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles in the included side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Now, why would it be easier to use this than PP? Easier to say, okay, ASA, why don't you just stay with PPTTT? That was so long. It takes you so long to say it. It does, but it's the the fastest of corresponding parts of the green triangle that can do it. Last ball for Eric, last ball for Stacia and Erica. So, here, how many sides and angles do we need? All. All. So we needed three sets of sides. Three sets of angles, right? Here, how many sets of angles do we need? How many sides do we need? Do you think it might be easier to only use two angles in the side versus three sides and three angles? So would that maybe be a benefit of this? Okay. So you only have to use you only have to use two angles instead of three. You only have to use one side instead of three sides. Now we gotta be careful here. Because we have this thing we're calling the included side. So we'll say the included side, we have this angle here and this angle here. The included side is going to be the side that's between those two angles. It's included between them. Does that kind of make sense? Okay, if you're included in something, you're in something. If you're inside of something, you're in you know, part of it. So this is included by these two angles. It's between the two angles. It's included inside. The in in. Okay, included angle is the included side would be between those two sides. Which you need how many sides? So you need <laughs> oh, I don't know. I thought you were asking a legit question and now it's being like, oh whoops. Got a lot. Bingo. Sounds like you're ready issue boxes to serve. I can see that when I don't serve it. Yeah, I just remember lying to him and sit there. Ooh! <laughs> so, so, anyway, so if you look right below this, we're going to try and figure out if these triangles are congruent, and what do you think we're going to try and use? Uh, Ian. Yeah, we're going to try and use angle side angle, AFA. Okay? So, 
if you look at letter A, the first one on the left, we have 49 degrees, 61, and 2.3 centimeters. Are we given the included sign? Yes, between the two angles. Okay? Over here, are we given the included sign? No, but are we even given the same angles? No. Yeah, we're given one. Okay, which two angles are the same? C and S. Are they congruent? Okay, let's mark them congruent. Because we need the two sets of angles to be congruent and the included sign. How can we figure out if this unknown angle is congruent to this angle? Are they congruent? These two angles are congruent. Is the included side for both of these angles congruent? Can we use angle side angle then? Okay, let's read it one more time just to make sure we can. Let's read it, okay? So if two angles in the included side of one triangle are congruent, and two angles in the included side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent, okay? Two angles. Included side, two angles from the included side are all congruent. So, yes, we could say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle what? Mm -hmm. Yep. And this time, instead of saying by CP, CP, C, we'll say by ASA. <laughs> and look at where the side's at. Oh. It's between the angles. I know, I just know that. Boom! Isn't that cool? Get it, because you need like two angles and one side. Isn't that nice? 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 Isn't that
could explain the reasoning by saying 39 degrees is not equal to 38 degrees, or you could say like angle K is not congruent to angle L, or you could say that angle, uh, not L, excuse me. Angle K is not congruent to angle N. And angle L is not congruent to angle N. So any of these things in the yellow would be uh, ways that you could explain it. Because you could say, okay, the angles are not congruent. These two measures are not the same. So it works, okay? Questions on that? All right, letter C. All right. Okay, we're given these triangles. What do we know? 90. What's 90? Do you know what D? D. I see 2D, two angle Ds. They're both 90. Ah, one on the right. One on the right. Angle A, D, C is 90. And J Aubrey, what are you saying? What's congruent? What you're saying. Congruent. Angle A, D, B. Why? Because this is 90 as well, right? If this, is not, if this is 90 and it's a straight line, these are a linear pair, right? So if this one is supplementary, they can be 90, the other one has to be 90. Okay, so what else do we know? So these are congruent because they're both 90. What's Aubrey? Angle A and B are congruent. B and C are congruent to each other. I'm Aubrey. Oh, okay. You told us to do Aubrey for that question today. Three times. I only responded. Actually, no, there was like three in my mind. I only responded to the three times you tell us to mentally. You did it right. You convinced me like three times when I said like three times. Okay. So what else do we know about this triangle? Did you see that wave? You're like, can you guys say I am? That's what I would. I am the like. I know why I do it. Okay, what else do we know? Um, there's a dashes. Okay, what do those dashes tell us? That they're that they're congruent. Gabe, what's congruent? Side BD and side DC. Okay, do we have enough to, ju to justify that these triangles are congruent? Okay, do we have it. We have two angles in the included side. Make sure it's the included. Okay, so triangle. Someone tell me a congruent statement for this. Rosie. A, B, D. Who said A, B, D? Look at that tilde. Oh my goodness. That's the best tilde I've ever seen. It's congruent to a triangle A, B, D. I disagree. Why? I know, right? C, D. Sorry. Why would it be C, D instead of D, C? B and C are yeah. B and C are corresponding and congruent. I know. Look at that. It's pretty. I'm really proud of that. 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 Ooh. Hey, don't forget the tilde, Kaylee, okay? Yeah. I didn't. They told us that. Um, line B A, like AC was congruent. Well, we would not be able to really tell then. So, Riley had a good question. If we were told that line B A and A C were congruent, I'm guessing you mean instead of these? Instead of that. Like, if we didn't know those were congruent, we would not be able to do it. Because is this angle side angle? No, it would be. Angle, angle, side. Or side, angle, side. Or side, angle, angle. So right now we could not do that. Okay, good question. But thankfully that's not what we were told. Yeah. And we do know what we've been told. Questions on this one? Oh, sorry. So we have to put by what? By ASA. ASA, angle, side, angle. You have to say which congruent variable we're using. Okay? I just want to test myself. So 
you want an icy? I'm like, no, that's what they're called. They're, they're called icy. You're supposed to pronounce icy. Yeah, it's pronounced icy. Yeah. I call them no, don't tell them that. I, because I don't want to call them icy. It's burning slow. Don't tell them that. No, please don't. I need a drink of it or something. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say icy. Don't tell them because I don't want to do it. You know that both have it. Can I get a large ice? Don't tell my child. It's Bendy. Same. I'm really thirsty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, that was a good one. Okay, that's how you split them apart, right? Oh, okay. Cool. Let me wipe those. I'm gonna fail at this one. I'm gonna fail at this one. For once, she's not the one. Y'all are making me so proud. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a proud dad so, moment, you know? Oof. Big oof. Wait, Mickey, I'm proud, right? Unless some of you don't make it. <gasps> Big oh, nine. I probably won't. Probably. Big oof. <laughs> I heard so that. Everybody has started saying big oof, so I don't want to be like mainstream, so I started saying big oof. Yeah, we're going to move on to this one. We're just gonna, that's all we're going to do for right now. We're going to move on. So, SAS. We have four. SAS. Side, ah, angle, side. Okay? So, side, angle, side. If two sides and the included angle of one triangle, the argument is two sides and the included angle of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. Is this kind of similar to our angle, side, angle? Yeah. It's just kind of like reverse, right? So instead of it being two angles with the included side, it's two sides with the included angle. Okay? So, it's a bit more sassy, okay? So, determine whether or not these two triangles are congruent, okay? So what would we need for these two triangles to be congruent? Well, we can either have all pairs of sides and angles, like we had EPCPC. We can have angle, side, angle, two angles and the included sides, or we can have um, SAS, two sides and the included angle. Which one do you guys think we're going to use? Two sides and the included angle. So, let's diagnose what we have. Who can tell me what we have so far? Okay, Kaylee. Uh, straight, L, and line. They have PM, PM. <laughs> okay, JL, the segment, and side, side JL, side PM are congruent. Who can tell me something else, Josie? Um, uh, the line JK. <laughs> How many tick marks? Two. Very good. Okay, what else do we know here? It's not straight. Aubrey. The angle of the J is congruent. Very good. Do we have enough to prove these triangles congruent? Yes. yes. By what? S A S. Okay, so somebody give me a congruent statement. Triangle what is congruent to triangle what? Triangle N P M congruent. N P M. I need K another one. L K L. Very good. What? Gotta be careful as we go through them. Okay. I feel like you're only twelve bucks, but now I'm just all through the Okay. So let's look at B. What are B? Or first of all, I should ask for a question on this first one. We have a question on the first one. Maybe I have a question. Wow. Let me finish writing it.
what and what? Angle D and A and angle A and angle D are not congruent, so let's label that. Okay? And give me one thing we do know, Riley. Okay. So do we um, have enough to say these triangles are congruent? No. No, as a matter of fact, what Gage pointed out ruins it for us. Thanks, Gage. Appreciate you ruining it for us. Okay? So, and because these two included angles are not congruent to each other. So it doesn't matter that these two are congruent. Gage, it's not even his fault. He didn't write the problem. So they're not congruent. They're not congruent. And you could do your explanation as simple as this. Or you could say like 43 is not equal to 45, or you can do this angle A is not equal to angle B. There is great joy in my heart. Not when it's B and B. Well, you mean you could? You don't have to. Either way. That would be really good too. Why do I have to put them all over it? I feel really good about my. Oh, why would you put equal on here? Because these are measures. Measures are equal, but the actual figure is the angle or the side of them. So angle, side, line, or segments are congruent. The figures are congruent. The next one but is called. Measures themselves are compound. Alright. Thank you, I appreciate it. You got that whole um, thing right there, you know? So, and this, it doesn't. Cool. This is blue. This is light bulb. Matches perfectly. This is what makes sure it's blue. It's Wednesday. Yeah. Light bulb blue. So, it's like red hand. My shirt is empty. <laughs> Instead of the, my shirt being pink, it's pink. Oh, okay. Hey, let's look at letter C. Let's look at letter C. Is that a face for the officer that I see? Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do with letter C, guys. Okay, you ready? You guys ready? You guys ready? No. No, no stand tomorrow. Oh, you can't stand tomorrow. Guess how my symbol exactly. Okay, you don't have to. I don't want to try and do it. Okay, you're the only one who passes today. And then, that's your own fault. It's like an eight. It looks like a bird with a triangle box. You should have remembered this from last year. Okay, let's look at letter B. Oh, never mind. Let's look at A. Let's look at A. Okay. Given that segment BD is the perpendicular bisector segment AC, what's that tell us? I don't know. Okay, that D is the midpoint. Yeah. And what do we know? It's that evenly split. Okay, so A, B is congruent with central. Yeah. Okay, Kayla, you want to tell us something else? The other side of D is a right angle too. Okay, A, angle A, B, D is a right angle too. Because it's oh. perpendicular, perpendicular to both. So are these angles congruent? Okay, and these sides are congruent. Do we have enough information to get through these triangles are congruent? No. Yes. No. Ian, why are you saying yes? Because B, D is a because B D is congruent to itself. Wow. Plus the property. Same thing's true to itself. So now we have enough information. Yeah. Somebody's right at congruency. Okay. Uh, if I want to do it, you can do it. That's too bad. Ryan, well, A, B, D is congruent to triangle C, D. By. By. I so you know what? Don't feel what you said. You don't have to do it. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. We have another one. We have a lot of these. We're going to cook today, okay? They're all going to run together. They're going to have this wonderful worksheet that's going to help us out. So, S, 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 side, side, side. Side, side, side. Nine, nine, nine. Triangle experience, okay? If three. <laughs> If three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of another triangle, then we know the triangles are automatically congruent. Uh, 
by by what? S S S S I S I S I. Okay, come with that one. Um. Because you bought the same. What would these two sides have to be for these two triangles to be congruent? Not necessarily. They have to be congruent. Okay, they'd have these two try these two sides have to be the same. It would follow each other and take away. Okay, that's math. Yeah. Okay. We're, gonna, we're gonna skip it though. Yeah. Yeah. You, have to, you have to do the symbol though, okay? I'm drawing it. I'm drawing it. I'm drawing it. Oh, I'm drawing it. Oh, I'm drawing it. I'm drawing it right now. I'm drawing it right now. Trust me, Will, we've been doing this all day, so I'm drawing it right now. I'm drawing it right now. A couple more steps and you'll be good. I gotta get my steps in. Okay. Okay, you mean Thanos? Yeah. The strongest wait, sacrifice wait. is required, the strongest will. Like angle, the angle, side. Angle, 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 side. Angle, angle, side. What? Oh, you just got it wrong. No, you're fine. Angle, angle, side. Triangle congruence. Hey, so we talked about that one earlier, right? We said, hey, we would need angle, angle, side. Sure. Guess what? We have it now. Oh, nice. Surprise. You do have it. Okay. So, we also have angle, angle, side. This is if two angles and a non Included side of one triangle are two uh, are congruent to two corresponding angles and the non-included side of another triangle. I and the triangles are congruent. So no, no, no. So <laughs> does this original concept of angle angle side make sense? Okay, two angles, non-included side, two angles, non-included side. If we had an included side, we can also have the non included side, right? The non included would be the not between the angles. Okay? So, okay? So, segment, we're given that segment AC is congruent to segment EC. Let's mark that. And we're also given that line M is parallel to line N. If those are parallel, how can that help us? We don't know that, actually. We could figure that out, though. Can you pull up the info on the theorem? I can't think of your exact theorem. Alternate theorem. No, not corresponding. Oh, same side. No, okay, so we have, we have two parallel lines cut by this transversal right now. And so they're on what, different sides of the transversal, so they are. Alternate interior. A and E are on the same side. No, they're both on the same side of these parallel lines, but there are ones on this side of this transversal, ones on this side of the transversal. Alternate interior. This is the transversal. Because you're doing yeah. C A D. This one and these ones. Is this part of the triangle? Yeah. That'd be the exterior. Not
we can realize that sometimes we might be able to do multiple congruences. We might be able to prove them congruent by angling the sides and by angle side angle. And whichever one you pick there is okay. Okay, we're going to give that angle A and angle C are congruent. Can we figure out two of uh, another angle and another side, because we need to do angle on the side, that are congruent? Rosie. C is congruent. Yeah, okay, how do you know they're both congruent? Because it's just like a No. No, they're not. They're 90 degrees. They make right, right angles. Okay. And now we need a non-included side. So what would be an example of a non-included side? There could be two of them. One would might probably be easier. E, B, C, and E, F might be easy. Why might these two be easy to find the line of that short? Because you can just tell them they're right on that line. So how long is B, C? How long is E, F? Okay, do we have enough to prove these triangles congruent? Yes. Okay, um, Adrian, give me the congruent statement. Very good. By angle, angle, side. That's good. We need that by angle, angle, side. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. <laughs> I forgot this triangle. Watch. What? If I had a nickel for every time I draw this triangle, though, it would never get this whole thing. I have to draw this triangle. No, then you have like the big triangle. Yeah, and then you can get a bigger and Hey guys, we just finished number three. I got to draw that. Hi, sorry. I missed your call. Hold on, I'm drawing it. I don't draw it. I can't. You got an awkward one. I draw it. Well, there was me. I just eyeballed you. Okay, we have one last one. Boom, we've almost made it. Let's almost made it, okay? Boom, let's go. Okay, let's go. We got 10 more minutes. Let's get this fresh, okay? Uh, never mind. Okay, so 
never mind, actually. I was going to be mad. I thought, um, don't worry, anyway. So, on, <laughs> on B, if we're given J and L are right angles, that means they're what? Congruent. K is the midpoint of JL and MN. So K is the midpoint of JL. What do we know about JK and KL? If K is the midpoint of NM, what do we know about NK and M? Do we have a hypotenuse and a leg congruent of right triangle? Okay, so can we prove a triangle congruent? Awesome. Okay, we're going to move on. So right below this, here's a summary you guys really want to keep in mind this page. Okay, and this part is like that. So maybe put a star by this. This is really important to remember. Okay? Proving triangles congruent using any method. Ones we have, we can use side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle. Those are these ones are the angles between the two sides. Side of the two, two angles. Angle, angle, side, and hypotenuse leg. We do not have side, side, angle, and angle, angle, angle. So we don't have the one that Noah was about to say, and we don't have angle, angle, angle. They actually just don't know. Yep. All math teachers and math textbooks put, put S as A for a reason. <laughs> like everywhere does it. No one calls it the other one. Well, well we do. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I bet. No, I bet they're smarter than Alex and Alex there. Yeah. 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 But by yeah. um, <laughs> explaining your reasoning by yeah. the other. And it's also not one, one of them either, either, so it's easier for us to not worry about it. Like, oh, you can't do it because it's not even one of them. Okay? So if we see it's automatically wrong. All right. Okay, hey, is it possible to prove these two triangles congruent? We have an angle, an angle, second angle. Could we know this angle, TSN, and angle HSU? Yes, but we can't use it. So we know all three angles are congruent. And he says we can't use it? It's angle, 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 not one of them. Do we know anything else about the sides? Could we prove these triangles congruent? No. We try garbage together the best. Okay. Um, ooh, ooh, this is a we're gonna skip these next two. Oh, no. No. Okay. I mean, I don't really don't no, I'm think of myself the eye of the Are we gonna finish? Um, what so I said I don't really don't think of myself the eye of the nose. No, so on the back here, on the back here, look at this top part. Hi. Yeah, I heard. It. Okay, so here's another summary, but with pictures. Okay, here's another summary, but with pictures. Here's your game. Can I start saying what? You say, does that make sense? And then if we, it makes sense, we all reply with change. Hashtag Sounds good. Sounds good. What? Hashtag, you're welcome. Aubrey. Come here. 
One second. I gotta finish the video.